The next icon which we can do is this notes icon because it's also quite easy. So paste our shape, move it next to the notes icon, and now we want to have this you know, top yellow part and bottom white one. We can do it in uh, several different ways. The first thing which came to your mind is probably insert new shape like like this maybe you know draw it adjust it a little bit recolor it to yellow you know make this white but it's not working quite well because with this shape if we make it the right height you can see that we cannot have this top part around it very much so we have to find a different way one way how to do it is to use a gradient fill which will kind of reflect this top yellow part and bottom white one. So change the shape of fill to gradient fill. Maybe make this bigger and move this over this shape so we can see the colors better. Delete this stop and uh, select the first stop. Change the color to some light yellow. Maybe use this one and make it a little bit lighter. We can adjust it later. Select next gradient stop. Change the color to yellow. Now the we have to insert a new gradient stop in the gray color. Like this. And the last one will be not really the white but very light gray maybe even lighter than this like this now we all we have to do is just you know move those gradient stoppers around so it looks same as the icon so we will move this right here like this and this and we can maybe select the first gradient stop and make it a little bit lighter Okay, I think that this looks pretty nice, almost like the icon which we want. The next thing are the lines. And, uh, we can show the grid lines, move this to match the grid lines. And you don't need to care that we cannot see the, those grid lines. They are still under this image and they are working. So if we insert a new line, you can see that it is into the grid, just like we want. So draw this line. Duplicate it several times. Oh, not this one. I will probably show a selection pane because it's easier to select objects through the selection pane. You move it like this and duplicate one more time. Move it here. Now it, it is not in the right spot, so I will hide the grid. Move this little bit down, select the last one, move it to the right spot, select all three and uh, in, select distribute vertically. Select every line, change the fill to maybe this gray, make it a little bit wider. Select the first one and change the dash, ty uh, dash type to this around that. Make it just a little bit bigger. Probably the last thing which we need is to adjust the size of the last line. So I will zoom in a little bit, select this last line, make it just about the size to fit this icon. So just like this. So select everything, group it together, rename it to notes icon and move it to the first page.